This is Seven National News and in our top story. Earlier today, the Hamdan bin Mohammed Cruise Terminal 3 opened in Dubai. In line with the Emirates Vision 2020 of welcoming 20 million tourists. The Crown Prince of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, officially inaugurated the third cruise terminal. He led the tour around the Hamdan bin Mohammed Cruise Terminal 3, along with senior government officials and cruise ship passengers. The 200 million dirham facility occupies a total of 125,000 square meters and has a solar powered parking area occupying 94,826 square meters. It also features a duty-free shop and a good variety of commercial establishments. Last year, senior officials say that they welcomed around 400,000 passengers at the port and expect to see more with this new addition. The new terminal has a capacity to welcome 14,000 passengers per day, increasing their total capacity to 20,000 passengers daily. According to estimates, cruise tourism will contribute around 3.5 billion dirhams to Dubai's economy between 2010 and 2015. Annually, the Dubai Cruise Terminal receives around 110 ship calls. DP World's Chairman, His Excellency Sultan Ahmed bin Sulaym, spoke further about the new facility and how it complements the growing cruise tourism in Dubai and the UAE. Well, uh, this cruise terminal can handle and accommodate about 14,000 passengers every day. That translates to about over 5 million a year. Uh, this cruise terminal uh, is equipped with uh, amazing facilities and allows uh, actually uh, the authority to allow the passenger to move very quickly. Uh, the building itself actually is built as a green building. We got a certificate. 75 of the building, the materials were recycled. Also, there is a, an air condition system that uses less energy. And so we are taking that into consideration. We believe this facility can also accommodate seven passenger ships at a time, which is very large. And we expect, of course, that with these facilities, the number of people is going to increase visiting Dubai. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, the ruler's representative in the Western region, and is, who is also the chairman of the Emirates Red Crescent, has directed an allocation of 60 million dirhams for Syrian refugees, with 10 million to be distributed every month for six months. 5 million dirhams of the 60 million will be allocated to refugees in Jordan and 2.5 million to refugees in both Lebanon and Iraq's Kurdistan. According to news agency WAM, a delegation from the Emirates Red Crescent will oversee the provision of in-kind assistance to refugees, especially in regard to shelter materials, heaters and winter clothes, blankets and medicines. His Highness Sheikh Hamdan said that these relief activities for the benefit of Syrian refugees come within the framework of the great attention given by the UAE's leadership. The Board of Trustees at the Mohammed bin Rashid housing establishment have approved an increase to the area used for the construction of housing for Emirati citizens to 8,000 square feet, up from the previous limit of 6,000. Sami Abdullah Gargash, the chief executive of the Mohammed bin Rashid housing establishment, said that the new resolution adopted by the establishment includes increasing the housing area to cover the construction of a villa and external areas, and without a set limit on the value of the contract. Gargash said that previously the organization requirements specify a limit of 6,000 square feet and that the project does not exceed the value of 2 million dirhams. Gargash added that the decision was made, taking into account the rise in house prices, with the aim of satisfying the needs of citizens to ensure adequate housing and raise their standard of living at all levels, which he said are at the forefront of the government's priorities. 
The 11th edition of the Dubai International Film Festival opened with a glamorous red carpet at the Madinat Jumeirah on Wednesday night. Hollywood, Bollywood and Arab celebrities came together to celebrate cinematic works of art created by both established and upcoming directors. A total of 118 features, shorts and documentaries will be screened over eight days at this year's edition, including 55 world and international premieres. International celebrities attending at the festival include Emily Blunt, Virginia Madsen, Kelsey Grammer, Paul Bettany, Olga Kurilenko, John Abraham and Anil Kapoor. The Oscar-nominated producer, writer and director Lee Daniels will head the jury for the prestigious Muhir feature competition and Golden Globe winner and IWC brand ambassador Emily Blunt will be joining the jury for the third IWC Filmmaker Award. The award offers a 100,000 US dollar cash prize to one winning filmmaker. This year's Lifetime Achievement Awards will honour the prominent Egyptian actor Noor El Sharif, whose 47-year career has seen him produce and star in leading Arabic language films. And Indian sing singing legend Asha Bosle, who has recorded 12,000 songs for over 850 films. DIFF's chairman, Abdul Hamid Juma, spoke about how the festival has evolved over the last 11 years. This is our 11th year building up on where we started, 2004. Uh, 118 films uh, coming from uh, 48 countries, speaking 34 languages, 67 of them Arab films. Uh, 17 are coming from the Injaz uh, uh, program which we started in uh, 2006 so I think the wheel is going uh, beautifully and then the the car is moving beautifully well for the Arab films we are proud to 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 know or to announce like there are four galas uh, for Arab galas one of them is Emirati one of them is Bahraini and two Egyptian films uh, so I think that is the, we came along uh, a very long 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 way the opening gala movie was the theory of everything the Stephen Hawking biopic from Academy Award-winning director James Marsh. Starring Eddie Redman as the renowned astrophysicist and Felicity Jones as his love and fellow student Jane Wilde, the extraordinary story follows the life of one of the world's greatest living minds. In the Cinema of the World selection, a group of Oscar winners and nominees will bring real-life stories to the screen, including Reese Witherspoon's Wild, Bennett Miller's True Crime and Sports Drama Fox Foxcatcher, and Kira Knightley in The Imitation Game. Lee Daniels, as head of the jury, revealed his expectations for the movies presented at the festival. You know, in these times right now, I'm looking for love. I'm looking to be loved. I want, the, I want to be loved, I want to feel loved, and I want people to love each other. So hopefully we can find some, some of that in, 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 this, in this year's movies. Seven UAE beaches have been awarded blue flags in recognition of a significant increase in environmental standards for 2014-2015. The internationally recognized blue flag beaches include five public and two private for enhancing the quality of beaches and marinas in the country. The newly awarded UA beaches are Albertine Ladies Beach over in Abu Dhabi, Al Mamzar Beach Park, beaches one, three, four and five in Dubai, the Sofitel Dubai, the Palm Resort and Spa and Atlantis, the Palm Hotel in Dubai. According to a statement released by the Emirates Wildlife Society, WWF, the flags were awarded after an assessment by the Blue Flag UAE Committee, as well as the Blue Flag International Jury, which were awarded for offering a clean, safe and well-maintained environment. There are currently 21 existing Blue Flag Beach and Marina operators in the country, which were successfully re-awarded this year including the 12 that were awarded for the first time last year. And finally, looking to other news now, the UAE has been featured in 10 videos for YouTube's top 100 trending videos for 2014. The YouTube Rewind 2014 celebrates what you created, 
watched and shared. In celebration of the people and moments that have made up an epic year, the top trending videos for 2014 have been put together based on views, shares, comments, likes and more. More than 100 YouTube creators from Japan, Germany, Mexico, France and beyond collaborated to create the annual Rewind video, making it the biggest and most international Rewind video yet. Some of the UA's videos include exploring the Arabian desert of Liwa from the point of view of a camel. The Burj Khalifa becomes engulfed by Mother Nature and disappears, as well as the Burj Khalifa pinnacle base jump, to name just a few. Music and adverts take up seven of ten spots on this list, including Taylor Swift's Shake It Off music video and Katy Perry's Dark Horse, featuring the UAE. Collectively, these ten videos have hundreds of millions of views.